robots start anywhere on their side of the field, but not in the landfill zone or auto zone. During the 15 second autonomous period at the start of each match, robots use pre-programmed instructions to try to move themselves, yellow totes, and recycling containers into the auto zone. Bonus points are awarded for stacking the yellow totes. Additionally, robots may begin acquiring gray totes and recycling containers from the landfill or the step. As the teleoperated period starts, drivers step forward to take the controls. Alliances earn points by stacking totes on their platforms. Each gray tote is worth two points. Teams may obtain gray totes from either the landfill, the step, or from a human player via the tote chute. Recycling containers on top of scored totes are worth four points per level. Robots may obtain litter from the human player via the litter chute. Litter in a scored recycling container is worth six points. Litter in the landfill is worth one point. Alliances may attempt to throw litter onto the opposing alliance's side of the field until there are 20 seconds left in the match. Litter not in scoring position on the field at the end of a match is considered unprocessed litter, and each piece will add four points to the score of the opposing alliance. Alliances may work together to earn a 20-point cooperation bonus by placing four yellow totes on the step. Stacking these four totes earns an additional 20-point bonus for each alliance. To rank well during qualification matches and advance through the playoff matches to the finals, teams will want to maximize their score for each match. Except for the final matches, winners of individual matches will not be declared, as this has no direct bearing on tournament performance and recycle rush. Of course, robots will need to be built robustly to avoid damage from falling game pieces. That was a great match.